All right, everyone, welcome to another Children James to our video. We're going to do a little bit about music theory this time. Then we're going to make a series of videos and all about music theory. I'm going to try to make it somewhat simple. So if, you've, if you know a lot about music theory, you'll probably be bored. But you should sure stay tuned. Anyways, we'll talk about some of the things maybe you didn't know about. It's a nice thing. No matter how much I think I know about music, I always maybe find something new from someone that may not even know that much. And you know, there's always about, it's always about uh, perspectives. You know, all the different ones. So let's see what I got. All right, so what I want to talk about the scales. You have to be a seasoned musician. You don't think too about scales, whether you know it or not. Um, but scales are the foundation for harmony and melody. Now, if you're familiar with music, you know there's four parts. Harmony, melody, Rhythm and the other part, let me debate it, but I want to say atmosphere, completely into the whole vibe of it. The two most common scales are major and minor. Well, major and natural minor. And if you have familiar with modes, major scale is. The same as the Ionian mode. Major scales are commonly found in upbeat tunes, like pop music, and like country music. And minor is usually a darker, sounds like metal, some rock. There's a lot of different things. But all that can be interchangeable. I mean, this L can kind of dictate the vibe, but ultimately, instrumentation, just the way you use the sale, can determine the rest of it. So it's a good starting point to think of mood based on the scale. What major you have when you talk about the keys. You have full step. Well, let me actually illustrate that. So let's talk about the major scale. The so major scale you have full step. Okay, again, let me do this. Let's just put it up. We're going to see. That's the easiest one to remember. And it's all the white keys. There's no flats or shelves. And C, D, E, F, G, A, and B. All right, so that's the major scale. Wait here. Okay, so that's, that's that. So what we do. You by steps. You have whole step. There's a key in between. Another whole step. There's another key in between. Half step. There's no key. This is the last one. Whole step. There's a key. Whole step. There's a key in between. And whole step again. There's a key. And then we resolve right back to C. So it's like, this feels like this. And that's major. Uh, I'm going to actually show it to you in better context here in a minute. Let's go over minor. 
So okay, well, let's see. It doesn't matter. It's not, it's not hard to remember, but it's a little, a little complex because I'm bringing in the flats and chops. And then C, D, oops, D sharp, or E flat, it would say. Um, F, G, G sharp, and then A sharp, and that is C minor. There's a difference, a little bit darker, but just a little bit. Um, okay, so we have a whole step to be in between. That step. Full step. Full step. Half step. Oops. Half step. Full step. And we'll step back to C. And that is the minor scale. Oh, well, we can put them both together. Let's see. Sounds something like this. If you listen back, you can hear the difference. One more time. And that is the scale. Minor scale, major scale. Now we have a whole bunch of other things and what we see out that we can talk about now, but I'd rather just give you an example of it for today, Thursday. You can come back for another video. Oh, there'll be one on Wednesday too, but it's going to be a review on oh, tomorrow, I guess. Anyways. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do for the rest of this video is just give you an example of maybe some chords, so the harmony, and then we can do the melody too. So we'll stretch this out. I was going to use C because it's easier. So what I'm going to do is do the C minor chord, and yeah, like this. What it is is the I'm just doing the triad. Would you hear somebody say C minor chord is this? Yeah, sounds cool. Okay, so basically, the chords, if you don't know this, these are all the notes. Oops. All the notes in C minor. Right there. So any of these will work as you can actually use as arts and stuff. Okay, so we have those. And then pull this guy. So it works. There's a chord there. Right there. So this is the root. So it goes down here. Use these for all the chords. These are all notes in the C minor scale. So you follow the scale and set up drag them out, drag them out.
This man is sad. This man did it. That's pretty cool. So that's just the basic ads. And we'll just use the scale with the melody of it. And C. Let's really use the ones that are in both. So the two. The four. And both page and M minor. So we switch to the bottom, it'll kind of be the same stuff. Yeah, that's boring. But I like the piece, you know, half step. The part, here's the this is like no pleasure. Yeah, something like this. Space. Oh, bah, bah, bah. <laughs> that sounds nice. A bit this. Oops, I want to have a key. So now that if we, all right, one little trick is you can do the determine. There's easy ways to go add this now. Wait, put all that in. Hey, you've got to see what you want. And that's until I started. There's another way you can do it. You count. Spaces in between. So let's just switch. So obviously, we can't have all the same keys. I'll show you how to switch. You know, I'm pretty easy. So just remember we had. The one, the two, the seventh, and the third. All right, it's easy to remember. But one easy way to do this is if you count the spaces in between. Okay, so we know this is the root, the C. Add up two. And if that's the third, that's minor. You go up three more. That goes here. So that's the fifth. Until we know the minor. Major. That's how you do it. Just like that. It's facing three keys, two keys, three keys. So that's what I just did. Um, there's a more advanced 
thing about sales that you might find challenging, but we're going to get to that, I think, in the next video in this series. And do that, but now let's finish this one. You went three and two. So you think, oh yeah, this will just be that. Nope, because each board and each scale is different. So this actually would be a minor chord, even though on a major scale. But because of the way all the notes work, is what they do. That's a bit more of a bit. They will come up with chords of each. Seventh. Oops. I did something wrong. <laughs> it's also wrong. What am I doing? Try that once. Okay, I'm messing something up. Let's go back to the cell. This is what we had to do. Ah, this should be there. Pull that back. Should be okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so now we have to find the third. Should be there. Again, yeah, there we are. This is the minor. Minor and a major. Now let's do a melody on top of that. Do, 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 do. Some of the double notes. And get too carried away. Is it a is it a video about melodies? Although we could do something, do something cute with it. Let it be here. Oops, I put it off the red, even though we don't necessarily need to stay tied to the red. So, Much more happy that sound compared to the minor ones we did. And as I said, if you look down in the description, I will 
uh, include the little code you can figure out the whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half to major, and whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, or minor. Look at that in the description with links to everything and yeah, it's pretty much it. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video. We're gonna be reviewing the BBC Symphony Orchestra Discover by Spit by Audio, which is a free plugin. But more on that tomorrow. When you watch a video about it, don't want to spoil that. I'm talking about the double of it, all that it does. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. I'm going to help you with the music today a little bit. Piece of scales. I'm going to hit it a little bit harder on Thursday. So definitely watch those. And if you try to learn, watch it again. If you're really trying to learn, reach out in the comments or reach out on social media. We got Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, you know, I'm around. And plus, the big thing you need to go to my website and get a free missile guide. And a free sample pack. It's all like lo fi drums and different boom bap, you know. It's a little free pack. Yeah, I hope you like. So we make it more. And I think if you take a look over there, probably not today, but soon, there'll be links to all my guides. And I have like four cheat, a bunch of cheat sheets that I'm not charging you for it. Hell, you don't even got to sign up for a newsletter. I mean, I'm being nice here. I mean, eventually it will, but I'm going to make you give me your email to a little cheat sheet that you can make yourself. Seriously, go over to my website. So go out there, hit up the links. I'd really appreciate it. You'd be doing me a solid. Anyways, before this video gets any longer, I will bid you adieu. And I will catch you tomorrow for the review video. Much love and peace to you. Later.